What do you got? Come on. Welcome back. Anthony Lees was the sort of bloke he crossed the street to avoid. By 30, he'd spent most of his life behind bars. Now he's turned his life around and he's helping others. Oh, nice. If Sydney's underbelly needed an icon, it's got one now. Hey, who yeah, like shoes? Chopper Reed, except I don't dob people in. Hey, like that no, one? Like <laughs> you, but, but good luck with your life. See you later. Never change who you are. That's the lesson, right? With 40 stackers. Anthony Lee's more commonly known as Spanion, has come a long way in four short years. The fast rising social media star has his own music videos, podcasts, and YouTube channel, and Let's hundreds go, of thousands of online followers. Let's go. I'm a quite intriguing person, so I'm like really excited about making the most of it. It's a far cry from where he sat behind bars for almost a third of his life and as recently as 2017. Petty crimes of stealing, high-speed pursuits, drug runs, stabbings a couple times. He counts himself lucky for being saved from a downward spiral Scarface after music. a realisation okay. in jail to turn his back on drugs I'm, and I'm crime. I'm a fit man, but I don't even change. hate my guts because I speak openly about the putridness and how stupid, how gronky being on drugs is and what a waste of life and what a bunch of gronks that would sit in prison for 10 years of their life. And I say that on the internet and um, no one has my experience. You just get off your head either way you choose, you know, that's not a way to live. Like, we have to learn to appreciate these little things, you know what I mean? Like, why are they doing me good Being in juvenile detention hey. since 15 and a heroin like addict good. by 16. Stop it. You know, so yeah. close he came to losing grip of his life after growing up with the wrong crowd. I've lost my uncle, who was the only man in my life, who was like my older brother. I've lost three or five of my best friends uh, to heroin. Um, everyone I know is still on heroin, everyone I grew up with, and most of them are in jail. My drug dependence, I'm talking Mate, when I was 16, 17 years nice. old. My heroin addiction then, you're talking over $1,000 a day. So one of the, one of the he says his turnaround wasn't quick, but there were moments of clarity. A life of crimes, all I knew. One day in 2016, looked at myself, seen the truth. That's it, sucking it. That's crazy. It's unheard of where I come from. I don't know any other stories like that. His content isn't a Sunday school picnic, and even Spanion admits he's not everyone's cup of tea. It's a mixture between loving me or hating my guts. I'm a very divisive person in Australia, but I would wait in a tree with a kitchen knife. Some parts of his story are downright frightening. And I would jump out the tree like Batman with a knife and land in front of him and boom, and I'd say, let's go, like, give me everything. But he says honesty is the reason behind his growing audience. Those people are raw and rough. You only connect with them by being raw and rough. Welcome to Sydney, lad. Let's go. Shit is deep. Where you been? It's My inbox is full. Thousands and thousands. Anywhere from youth workers back who spend up. their days back at youth centres playing my videos for the kids because they know that no one can reach them as good as I can, to the kids themselves, to adults who say, and I'm the reason they got off drugs. I'm the reason they see the truth about the criminal lifestyle. Whatever effort that the police and but they know, doing the me goody, lad. Mums, I didn't pay them. Succeeded very I, well. I didn't pay nothing. The 35-year-old knows Fuck Sydney no. well. I they doing me some so of good. its grittier parts close to his heart. It was Australia's version of what you'd see in the movies at Queens, where between the projects they're just dealing blatantly, and cars would pull up. This what it was. This was Bulimaloo was the hood. After leaving jail, his rapping became popular, and the rest followed including a fashion label hey, and now even a book hey, where nothing's off limits. The positive energy I put out into the world for the first time and the, and the, and the world's loving me. Uh, there's a big misconception about me that I don't talk about my crimes in a way where I'm begging the nation for forgiveness and I, I cop a lot of hate for that and I think it's a lot of misunderstanding like I did lose my life to jail. I did lose my life so Unfortunately, I, that's the life I led, and, but I feel like I owe no apologies and no sadness for anything that I've done. Despite his <laughs> recent social media fame, the impacts Facts. of a hard beginning still Ew, linger. What the? Never been to a wedding. I've never been to someone's birthday party. I've never had a job. Until recently, I've never had ID. 
I'm still on my green peas. I'm 35 years old. I just got my license for the first time. I, I'm a full disconnect from the world. Is your life of crime done? It is done. I've been out almost five years now. I refer to myself as a civilian now. <laughs> first time in my life, I'm full of civilian. I don't even know what jail smells like anymore, but it's done. And what I'm on is um, great successes. Like, I love it. Hey! Spanion's book, Unfiltered Hood Life, is available in most my book. retailers, but a word of warning, it is definitely not for young readers. Still to come, Emily made three desperate calls to get an ambulance for her mum. The response <laughs>